Time for a fish room update, June 2018. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian and I'm coming at you with a fish room update for June 2018. Thought I'd start down in the basement here, um, but before I get started, uh, a couple of things. First, I'm sorry I didn't get anything out in May. Just been real busy over the last month or two. Um, one of the things I'm busy with is uh, working on uh, getting a, a website out for aquatic support systems. So that's going to be coming soon, within the next few weeks hopefully. Go over there right now though, AquaticSupportSystems.com and um, when you go to that page there will be a, a, an area where you can enter in your email to receive updates or something like that. Um, put your email in and everybody that enters in their email is going to get a, a coupon code emailed to them when the website goes live, uh, giving them discounts. I'm not sure exactly what the discount will be yet or how much it'll be, but it'll definitely be worth it. Um, what we've got going on right now is the Southern Delight fish food, like always, that'll be on there. I've also got Planet Tank fertilizers and a few products that'll be on there. And um, eventually, I'm not sure if it'll be on when I go live, but there'll also be fit, uh, shrimp food um, and products like that as well. So, working on things all the time. and. Um, wanting to provide a website uh, for everybody, for all different uh, types of uh, fish keeping needs and things like that. Obviously the flagship is going to be the Southern Delight fish food like always, but i um, really excited about it. So get over there, AquaticSupportSystems.com, enter in your email address and uh, we'll send out a coupon code when the website goes live. Alright, so on to the fish room update. Let's start over here. Um, this is... Uh, the flower horn colossus he's a king confa if you're new to the channel 9.9 .9, he's doing real well continuing to grow um, colors and patterns have just uh, exceeded my expectations by by far on this fish um, he's really something special and uh, really nice active fish um, and I uh, just really enjoy having him in the fish room. So that's how he's doing. He's doing real well. He's got to be about 12 inches at this point, give or take. Down below, we've got um, the Midas pair who recently laid eggs. I'm not sure if you can see them in there or not. They're on the side of the pot. I've got uh, some fry pulled from their last spawn that I'm going to hopefully grow out. But these guys are doing real well too. Um, they regularly spawn. I don't always pull the fry in time. They seem to eat them or whatever. There's one from several spawns ago. There's one straggler hiding under the rocks here that's getting to be close to two inches. So I'm just gonna let him continue to grow out and then see how he turns out or somebody wants to pick him up for me or something like that. We can do that as well. But anyway, oh, I can think see the eggs now a little bit better since they move but anyway yeah they're doing real good so um, over across here is the uh, the Moda Jinosuke real Blanco Moda um, and then his female I shouldn't say his female because they haven't paired off but that's a female in there thinking about moving her over to another tank where I've got a pretty nice up-and-coming male um, these two just aren't doing anything together. She hides in this pot all day. She's just too small for him, I believe. But at any rate. <laughs> On my other flower horn up here, this is the red magma. He's doing real good too. The red coloration on him has really, in the last six months or so, really turned into something nice so at one point I was wanting to get rid of him I'm glad I didn't we're just gonna continue to see how he does and keep him as a wet pet just like the other flower horn all right moving on um, 
Newest addition to the fish room, I got a Feste pair. Um, these came from Max Pappas. This is the male Vulcan, and the female over here hiding, trying to lure her out a little, is Athena. Um, I need to get some dithers. He had silver dollars in here with these pair, and um, she just does, she hides all the time, so I need to get some dithers, hopefully get her to come out a little bit more. She's got really beautiful colors, and so does, I mean, typically with Feste, I'm more into the females than the males, but this is the nicest colored male I've ever seen. See, he's just chasing her all over the place right now. She's, uh, she's doing a lot of hiding. But we'll get that changed, hopefully. I'm going to try to find some uh, dithers, probably silver dollars, something along those lines uh, to put in here with them and uh, just see how they do. She's a little beat up right now, too. He's been nipping at her. But at any rate, I'm pretty happy to have this awesome looking pair in, in the fish room. She always comes out and eats. I'm going to just uh, throw a little food in there just to show you guys that. Um, oops, that's the wrong one. Across the room here and grab the power feed. So uh, I've been feeding these guys Southern Delight power feed, and they love it. Yeah, it gets her out. All these lights down here just makes it hard to have real good video, unfortunately. But anyway, um, down below here are the Trimax. Uh, I'm down to seven from eight. Um, one of them got killed by aggression. There are um, there's a really nice male, this guy here, and then this female right here. They have kind of paired off and almost looked like they were going to spawn like her bar she got all barred up and they were chasing all the other fish off and then it never happened so just continue i mean they're young um just continuing to um watch them and let them grow there's another male back here that's pretty nice um two i'm not sure what i'll do yet if i'm gonna keep these all in the tank until they get bigger or start to sell off everybody except the two that have paired off. I'm just not sure, but uh, these guys are hungry right now too. So since I got the food right close by, sorry about this shot, I'm trying to do it. So, they love their Southern Delight as well, power feed. So yeah, we're just continuing to watch them and wait for things to happen and eventually hoping to have a real nice pair in here. Over here, sorry that I forgot to clean the glass on this tank, oops. Um, got the uh, Hadiensis pair, the one pair that I have left. I sold the other Hadiensis pair, by the way, in order to... Uh, make room for the Feste pair that I just talked about a little bit ago. But I kept what I um, thought were, I guess my, I shouldn't say better, but these are my favorite pair of the two pairs, so I kept them, sold the other one. You can see that there's fry swimming around in there right now. I recently pulled some fry, and I'll show you them in a little bit, but uh, I got a big swarm over in uh, a grow out tank. But this guy, I mean, he's he's really turning out to be something special, so. They spawn fairly regularly for me. So that's a good thing. And then up here, Obviously, um, 
Loretta's latest pair. <clears throat> They're still doing good. She spends a lot of time in the tube, like always, but they spawn. I've got um, a little bit of, not a whole lot, but a few fry uh, over in a grow out tank um, as well. Um, should probably come out if I either feed or pretend I'm about to feed. Yeah, let's try to draw her out. Um, just need to grab the food. These guys I've, uh, I've got on Southern Delight Large Cichlid. And uh, yeah, she knows it's time to eat. But this guy, I mean, I'm so happy with this fish. This is one that I've just, really, he's turned out nice and uh, couldn't be happier. Amphilophus are just such awesome fish. This is the reddest latest, if I didn't already say that, or if you're new to the channel. But, um, yeah. Uh, we'll move over here. Magnus and Beast are still alive. And well, um, she still gets snipped at quite a bit by him. Unfortunately, spends a lot of her time hiding. I've built some hides for her, but um, yeah, he's still looking really nice. Um, his nuchal hump over time has kind of gone down a little compared to. You, know, you can see the aquatic support systems banner there, but that's an old picture of him. His nuchal hump is quite a bit bigger. At that point, but um, you know they're they don't seem to be in breeding mode and at all anymore. Um, I think that time in their life has since passed. But um, yeah, he's still doing good. Um, it's really funny. I don't know if I can do this with the tops and everything here, but when I lift this top up to start to feed him, I mean he comes out probably up to like his gill plate almost um I would, i'm gonna let's see if i can try to somehow do this here it's, it's really fun to see um all right what i'm gonna try to do is lift this top up and i, I don't even probably need to dump any food in and he'll start doing it Maybe I do. Let's see if I can. Just the noise of it sometimes gets him. Yeah, I'm probably you probably couldn't see that. It was through the the acrylic. I almost would need another person to be able to really show it, but yeah. I don't know how that turned out, I couldn't really see, but at any rate, it's really fun to watch, and uh, happens pretty much every morning when I feed. Alright, um, the other Umbi pair, Optimus and Matrix, they're doing real well. Optimus is um, an F1 from Magnus and Beast, and Matrix is uh, an F1 from another pair. Um, that you can see that they have fry in there right now. I pulled a bunch of fry and put them in this tank over here. I don't know, there's hundreds of them in there. You can see there's some, uh, I just made up some gel food with Southern Delight and Knox. I think that's what it's called, Knox Gelatin Mix. Um, so, we'll have some zombies growing out here at some point available probably but he's doing real well so is she they're looking really good um, don't have a lot more to say about them other than let's just watch them here she's looking really nice right now kind of all blonded out 
new fry. to play that game, go down to the end of the tank and we'll shoot down. Anyway, down below here is just kind of a standby holding tank, I guess. I got all the loaches in here. I got uh, my extra female Midas. And I've got this nice male Moda. This, this one I, um, this is kind of a lone survivor from the pair I got from Sean Hyden before the female was killed. <coughs> and he's really turned out to be a stud. Um, I think I'm gonna put that other female in the first Moda tank in, with, in here and kind of see what happens. They're about the same size right now. But this guy's been growing fast ever since I put him in the 210 gallon. Um, eventually, I think Cheeto and his female are gonna go into this tank. Once I do what I wanna do with Cheeto's tank up in my office. Just haven't uh, had the time to make those plans. Just things have been busy. I was saying at the beginning of the video. This is the last of my Dovi fry. They're spoken for and are being shipped out Monday. Um, this is a, a tank with some pretty young Midas grow outs or Midas fry. A lot of them are in the back. So you're not seeing a whole bunch of them right up front here. Unlike this tank, this is uh, probably about a hundred Hadiensis fry. They've been in here now for about two weeks. And a lot of times, in my experience, when you move small fry into a grow out tank, you see a lot of um, death right away, for lack of a better word. Um, and these guys just have been, I haven't found any dead ones in here and they, their numbers just have really stayed where I'd like them. So hopefully that's a good sign. Um, just a handful of Redis latest. They're about at the half inch mark. And you can see right four right there. Also these tanks too, I didn't really talked about it, but I grabbed a bunch of plecos from my last local fish event here and they're nothing special, they're just bushy nose and cistrus, but um, so that's what I'm kind of doing as well in these uh, grow out tanks. But um, these are some Hadiensis grow outs or fry, whatever you want to say, that are a little bigger than the last ones from a prior spawn. You can see I got some albino bushy nose in there, but there's I don't know, probably upwards between five and ten in here. And they're getting to be the size that I'd be comfortable shipping pretty soon. So if anyone's interested within the upcoming weeks here, um, let me know and uh, we can uh, work out something. And then finally below here, let's see if I can. This is what I've got left of the modas. There's uh, either five or six total in there, I think. They're starting to really put some size on. There was a super nice female that um, had kind of paired off, it seemed like, with this, uh, this this male here. And they were like basically taking over a flower pot and everything. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. And then with, sometime within about a week after I noticed that, um, I ended up finding her dead on the bottom of the tank uh, due to aggression. I don't know if it was, if it was the male or another fish in the tank, but uh, killed her and so that's too bad so at this point um, I don't believe I'm gonna sell any more of these I've sold off a few mostly locally actually or all locally and uh, a lot of them have just been killed over time due to aggression too um, as they weed 
weed out the population, but, um, yeah, I'm going to keep these for now and just see how things turn out. They're pretty crazy. Um, I'm just going to show you real quick. I have the small cichlid. Um, at this point, I've been feeding them Southern Delight small cichlid, and um, they go pretty nuts over it, as you can tell, just by... Anyway, we'll head upstairs and uh, I'll show you uh, Cheeto before we end the video. Alright guys, alright guys, we're up here in Cheeto's tank and um, he's doing real well. This uh, female and, and Cheeto, they come really close to spawning. All all the time it seems like and then they just never do and her tube will get a lot further down than it is right now and I'm, I'm not sure what the deal is but it doesn't really matter I enjoy having these guys in my office up here for the time being and um, fun to watch they're a really fun pair Cheeto's just a really fun fish to have he's got a lot of personality he's <laughs> really been getting an attitude lately too when I go to do water changes, he just attacks that um, the gravel vac, the tube from my python, and uh, he's just relentless on it. So he never used to be that way. So it's kind of fun to watch his attitude change. I think a lot of it has to do with he's really wanting to breed with this female. She's just for whatever reason not not always having it. I don't know. At the end of the cherry biker in there. I don't always show this fish, uh, but it's really grown. Slow grower, but it's been been growing. Got this albino pleco in there too. But yeah, guys, that's really about it for now. Um, I appreciate you being patient uh, as I didn't have a video out uh, since April. Um, again, like I said at the beginning, uh, website opening soon. AquaticSupportSystems.com. You can get Southern Delight. You can get uh, Neeloc G brand um, fertilizers and a few other planted tank accessories and um, shrimp food as well. I've got uh, some MK Breed shrimp food already in, and I've got some low keys coming and some glass gardens and i've also got moss ledges that are going to be available soon as well um, so keep your eye on that thing and again like i said if you enter your name into the website um, you'll get a coupon code when the website opens stay tuned for that if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe um, if you want to see further updates i'll hopefully this month uh, get an update out on my shrimp tanks and also my uh my uh, saltwater tanks as well. I do both of those things as well if you're new to this channel. And uh, I want to thank everybody that does subscribe, that does comment on these videos, that watches them. Um, share the news about the website as well. Um, I think uh, we're poised to have a really good grand opening here in a couple weeks. Or within the next couple weeks, hopefully. Alright, until next time, take care.